just go on one. You know, if you can't see video on Zoom, just go to YouTube. It's perfectly fine over there. And it's also being recorded, so don't need to worry about that. Um, perfect. So, so when we're talking about volume, you need to understand when there's going to be volume in the market, right? So there are some, some times when there's going to be volume in the market. So the first is when markets open. Whenever markets open, there's going to be a lot of volume in the market. Whenever markets close, there's going to be volume in the market. So when we talk about market opens, we basically talk about that, okay, maybe there's, there's going to be a lot of volume at New York Open. There's going to be a lot of volume at London Open or Asian Open, which is why some people say, oh, hey, like, you know what, I only trade the market opens. And you ask them why and then say, well, the reason is because there's a lot of volume at that time. You know, when there's volume, you have bigger candles. And when you, when you are in trades, you need bigger candles to run your trades. So that's why you focus on market opens, market close, their news events. News events also have a lot of volume, right? Next you have um next you have breaking news. Breaking news also have a lot of volume. You know, now and next we have speeches, etc. So so when we're talking about news events, it's not necessary that you should be trading news events because it's very risky. There's a lot of volume there they're like very volatile, so we're going to talk about volatility here in a second here. But um, trading news is a big no-no. This is basically programmed in Forex Factory. When you have breaking news, breaking news is news which is not programmed, which is not expected to be released, which just comes out of nowhere. Like, uh, like you know, if someone talks about OPEC or if someone talks about – if Trump talks about something very controversial that may move the economy or if you have – I know like uh, in – 2018 and 19, we used to have a lot of breaking news on Brexit. You know, so those were unplanned news. So those news events also bring a lot of volume in the market. So the best time to trade is when there's volume in the market. And the best time when there's volume in the market is basically when the market's open, when markets close. Especially one thing is missing here, um, the London and New York overlap. There's going to be a lot of volume in London and New York overlap as well, which we talked about in uh, market sessions. Next, we have volatility, right? Volatility is defined by the uncertainty in the markets. This means that it's really tough to know which way the market will move, right? Whenever there's a lot of volatility, it's like um, during this time, you may notice candles move haphazardly on the charts, which is a sign to stay away till the market calms down. What this basically means is now sometimes, you know, when you have news events, like you have um, NFP, whenever you have NFP or interest rates or um, let's say you have FOMC, you see that the candles, they break highs and lows of the previous candles, you know, like the candles move up and down. That's a lot of volatility in the market. That means that the price does not know where to go. There's a lot of volume, but it's very volatile. Volatile means it's very unstable. We don't know where it's going to move. When you have market open and when there's volume in the market, you see that the candles will make higher highs and higher lows, just like we talked about earlier, and they will make lower lower lows and lower highs if the trend is going down, which we also talked about earlier. But when there's volatility involved, you see that the candles just start breaking the highs and lows. You know, it starts acting in a very haphazard manner. So, so when there's a lot of volatility, it's very difficult to trade. And volatility comes when there are a lot of um, high impact news. You have dead market hours. You know, sometimes, you know, when there's, it's, it's the afternoon session on when, or when it's late in the Asian session, you might see some volatile market. Like there might be something happening in the background that may move price here and there like with a lot of volatility. So it's very difficult to trade at that time. Sometimes, you know, I um, I know at London Open, um, when when London opens, there's also some sort of volatility where where candles, they throw wicks up and down, you know, and that's very difficult to trade as well. And then, like, you know, I remember in the past one to two years, we had Trump, Trump tweets. Trump tweets was also causing a lot of volatility. Sudden change in economy also causes a lot of volatility. So these are the things that you have to be very careful about. I remember in 2018, 2017 and 2018, Kim Jong-un used to drop bombs, you know, like he used to... To test bombs in the Asian session, and that would cause a lot of volatility in the Asian session. Asian session will move a lot, but there would be a lot of volatility mixed with a lot of volume as well. So it it would get really hard to trade. So I would say whenever you're trying to trade and you see that there's high impact news, 
coming on like you know maybe in half an hour or 15 minutes it's a it's a great idea to just stay away from the charts because we don't know where the volatility is going to go of course we're going to have volume right we're going to have volume to trade but when there's going to be volatility we won't know where price is most likely to go right so um let's talk about momentum momentum is the byproduct of volume and volatility in the market um without any surge of volume price cannot be in momentum right this is very important you need to have volume in the market you need to have volume in the candles in order to have momentum right you cannot see momentum in the market you can feel it with experience um with momentum you expect certain things to happen in the market um such as break off support resistance zones like you know if price is approaching some sort of a zone then you know okay there's a lot of volume in the market and now price is most likely to approach that certain zone so when you see price is moving towards a certain zone now we're going to talk about this um momentum and volume later on in a lot of examples we have so when price is moving towards a certain zone you know that it's moving because there's volume in the market and that movement is defined as momentum you see it you see okay man like look there's a lot of volume in the market price is in momentum which means it's on its way to a certain zone right and the only reason when your support and resistance zones are broken when there's a lot of volume in the market as well you know because for your 1 hour 30 minute and 4 hour zones to break price needs a lot of volume in the market you know it needs a lot of force it's like it's like when you're trying to um break down a wall with a hammer you know you need a lot of force applied on the wall to break it down it's the same thing here when you have dead market hours let's say when there's no volume support and resistances they may not break you know like the minor ones the 15 minutes sometimes the 30 minutes they may not break so so you need time when there's a lot of volume in the market so you know like you have um trend changes when when there's a lot of momentum you might see some trend changes happen you might see formation of larger candles as well you know when are larger candles formed when there's a lot of volume in the market so that's what you need to see that okay if you're going to try to trade what time are you trying to trade Are you trying to trade when there's going to be volume in the market which is when you will get larger candles and those are going to be your trading candles at the same time like when we talked about as price is approaching let's say a support you know you know that there's almost like 20 30 pips left for price to a- approach a support you look at the time you're like okay this time there's going to be a lot of volume in the market and there's also a lot of momentum so price may reach that support because there it it's in momentum it's in momentum because there's a lot of volume in the market why because maybe it's the new york open or it's the london open or it's the london close or or it's the asian open or we just had the news and price just wants to move along so these things are very important when you're looking at you know like momentum volume and volatility um i just want to make sure again my audio is fine video is fine my pace is not too fast not too slow um okay everything good everything everything also good okay people in youtube is also good okay perfect awesome um okay let's move along to the uh next section here i think next section we will have is for a little bit technicals uh this is going to be